This is the thing, ladies and gentlemen. This living room is everything. Double height. Look at the kitchen. Look at that counter. Five terraces in total, five bedrooms. The house is 6,500 square feet. This is the whole master suite, this entire wing of the house. It's amazing. Some of you have seen the house before. This is a whole new world. It's a new day. And if the contract is signed tonight, you get that beautiful sports car outside, too. Ooh. How much is the car? 150,000. Yeah, that's how I do it. I'm like, I have this big hat of amazing ideas and creativity, and I just pull it out. I just pull that out on my hat. People are coming up to me and saying that they get a car. This is one of my first big listings here. I will take it out of my commission. You're smiling because it's you. <laughs> I do love it. And I want major press on this house and a lot of attention. It doesn't have a lot of a yard. That's the negative that I would say. Yard? Who wants that? One thing that I hate is those, like, dry leaves that are everywhere. Did you move these power lines? No. But you can grow the greenery a little bit. Closet space, a little lacking. Closet space lacking? Wait, you have five bedrooms. You can make one of the rooms a walk-in closet, a dressing area. Yeah, yeah, see, see, you're running out of ammunition. <laughs> I love it. You like it? I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I mean, I can see, like, a Hollywood movie producer, yeah, actor I living here. Five bedrooms, pool in the Hollywood Hills. This is like set for a party. That's why I wanted to throw a party tonight with all of you people, because now you can really see it with light. Wow, it's a real comeback. It's going to sell tonight. Oh, <gasps> where? I am four weeks away. Yeah. Ah! So. Hi. Hi. Oh, you came. How are you? Where's Josh? See you? Josh is in here. I um, call, left messages and. I know you've left a lot of messages. Yes. Yeah. So what? Uh, you know, just... No, I don't know. Don't act like you don't know what's going on. There was a friendship there. And to hold information like that, I mean, it just seems shady and slimy. Shady and slimy? Yeah. Hey, Joel. Hey. What's up? How you been? I'm doing well. How are you? I feel, like, a little bit slighted because I noticed that the one below is now listed when... I meant to uh, tell you that. So, yeah. Corcoran, Sunshine, uh, I think they were probably upset that you were even brought in in the first place. The penthouse, any development, is kind of the crown jewel. Here we have two. We gave you the top of the building. You've got amazing outdoor space, amazing views. Yeah, but I, I mean, I would have loved to at least have some kind of discussion about that prior to that just being decided. It doesn't matter that my penthouse is a top floor, because now it's going to appear overpriced compared to the one below. And in this market, when buyers are value-driven, I'm going to seem like the greedy broker. And effectively, like, it's kind of like making it harder for me to achieve this, because now we have two penthouses in the same building for sale. It's supply and demand. We're, we're, we're developers, and we're selling our condominiums, and we can't, you know, sit back and wait. And the market is challenging. So, you but do know. Do you think it was really in your best interest to list that one? If you have to work a little harder, get your team to work a little Look, harder, I, I, that, that's fine. I have no problem working hard. That's what got me this far in this. It, it was unfair to them to say, you know, only Steve can sell the penthouse. Why not? Sell one and then release the other one. That's how it usually works in a development. Penthouses almost never get listed together. You want to build momentum and you want them to feel exclusive. The moment you put everything on the market, it's not exclusive anymore. Would you consider lowering the price on this unit to be more competitive with the one downstairs? I don't think so, because this is a unique apartment. So I know you're competing to some degree, but it's still a unique apartment. So no price reduction? No. All right, well, I will continue to push forward and try to get offers, but there'll be lower offers because there's more supply in the market. I feel like I'm being used a little bit, you know, like get all this publicity, PR for the building, and then, then they release the other penthouse at a lower price and I have to compete with them. I'm beyond frustrated. I make marketing videos all the time. I put them on YouTube, I put them on my Instagram and Facebook, and they work. It draws a different audience. A daughter could be watching it whose dad is looking for real estate and she could send him the video and then all of a sudden that's a buyer that I might not have ever had. Just FYI, I can't really dance. No, you could dance. Not really. Taught myself to dance once for Amelia, but then I got her to marry me and I was like, I don't have to try anymore. 
but there's only so many times that I can say, hi, and welcome to 44 Late Street. Let me show you the living room. You know, I want to make it interesting. And then that's a way that I can get a lot more viewers. Because what I want is I want view count. So I want them to stop on mine and say, whoa, whoa, what's happening in that one? Let's do it again. Even if I feel and look stupid. Screen looks good. Is it is it queued up? I think we're good. I don't know. What's wrong? I'm kind of freaking out. Dude, you've been freaking out all day. No, oh, because the video is like so weird. It's great. The video's good. It's funny. It's like awkward. It's it's amazing. Why, why do you think it's awkward? Should we redo the video? Should I cancel this right now? No, no, no. no. I think it looks great. Hello. Hey. Let's do it. It's about to get weird. Welcome to 44 Late. This is a ground floor space. It's uh, an amazing, amazing cast iron loft. It's not cast iron. It's an amazing, amazing loft building that has great open exposure views, and even from the ground floor. Uh, I'm, I, I'm really nervous. Sorry. What do you want from me? They raised up a good portion of the apartment to create this basically soundproof TV room. And you want something with your own private catwalk? Right. Like we found it. It is not a normal loft as you can tell. They're collectors, and so these can come with the apartment too. Crazy, right? So this is their son's bedroom, big high ceilings, full surround sound, and the master suite is pretty spectacular. You got these insane skylights in the back, and then you also have a porthole. Oh, wow. You can feel the air. Columbus Circle has the Time Warner Center, which is this, this iconic building that's known for being really expensive. And it has all sorts of high-end shopping and some of the most iconic restaurants in the world. And then, of course, you have the park. It's a pretty special part of New York City. Not only did I promise my bosses that I would get a listing in the 5 to 10 million range, but they're the ones that arranged this listing pitch for me. So I'm feeling nerves like I've never felt before. Hi. Hi, Sarah. Tyler. Hi. Nice Tyler, to meet been you. nice to meet you. Thank you for having Wow. Yeah. OK. Yeah, this entryway is probably bigger than my first apartment in New York City. Yeah, it's terrific. This is like everything that people want when they come to New York City. These views are never going to change, which you cannot say that often in New York City. Yeah, it's amazing. Very nice. And it's your parents that own this, right? That's right. How long have they had it? Just about five years. So they spent about 10. They put another 1 million into to do this renovation. Did they do this to the ceilings? Yeah. That's beautiful. I love that. This is the master. There's two full baths in the master. Yep, we have his and her bathrooms. This is the master? Yes. So it's not the biggest master bedroom. Yeah, and then the last bedroom, bathrooms in each of the bedrooms as well. Oh, and this is nice. You're like looking directly over Columbus Circle here. This is a great view. Yeah, I'd almost use this as the master. Great advice. I mean, this bedroom looks directly over Columbus Circle, whereas the true master is actually looking over Broadway in the Upper West Side. Still beautiful, but not as iconic. So tell me, what, what are you thinking? I know that they're into it for 11. Um, but even right now, the same line and the 33rd floor and the 37th floor are both listed for the mid eights right now. I researched my ass off before going on this listing pitch. The nice thing about living in New York is that you can go back and look at all the historical sales, but not just the sales and what they sold for, but what the condition was of every single apartment. While they're not renovated to this level, you know, we're going to struggle to even get what your parents spent. So if I was going to list this today, I think 995. Wow. Um, other people are telling us that they can sell this at 12. Well, I mean, you said yourself that this apartment cost a million dollars to get it to this level. If somebody could spend $2 million on a higher floor, really deck it out, and still come in lower. But um, I think you have to think about the time and the effort that goes into a renovation like this. It's not just the cost. But your parents are looking to sell it right now. If you let it sit on the market for six months or 12 months at the wrong price, people are just going to assume that something's wrong with the apartment, and they're going to make even lower offers than the $10 million, I'm telling you. Do you have much experience in this price range? N not yet. 
That said, I have a lot of experience selling in New York City. We want someone who can get us above market price. I've learned to be more aggressive in my listing pitches recently. I need to put on pressure when I need to put on pressure. Yeah, exactly. But there's always so much I'm willing to compromise. I don't just want the listing, I need to sell the listing. I've done my research, so how about this? Let's meet halfway. I'm at 10, you're at 12. Let's list the apartment at 11. I still think that's a little bit high, but I think it'll at least get the traffic that I need. And then we can see where the offers come in. I'm not sure if that's something that they would go for. Is there any way I could actually speak to them? Maybe we video chat, anything? I, let me take this back to them and, and talk to them. All right, well, listen, thank you so much. It was thank very you. nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. The home, regardless of price, is stunning. It doesn't feel great walking out of here without having a solid yes on this listing, but I hope if nothing else, she saw that I know what I'm talking about. In a market like today's, you need somebody who can be honest. Hey guys. <laughs> Subscribe if you like the video. Click here to watch more.